Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is your Midday Wrap. Over the weekend, Facebook removed several posts critical of President-elect Rodrigo Duterte. On Sunday, the Facebook page of the Economic Journalists Association of the Philippines, or EDJAP, was taken down after the group released a statement condemning Duterte's remarks on media killings. Asked in an earlier press conference about stopping media killings in the Philippines, Duterte says, in his words, just because you're a journalist, you're not exempted from assassination if you're a son of a bitch. Last Saturday, in a speech at his Thanksgiving party in Davao, the president-elect warned policemen involved in the drug trade. Don't, don't, don't take this as a joke. Hindi ako nang papatawa. Putang ina papatayin talaga kita. If you destroy my country, I will kill you. If you destroy the youth of this country, I will kill you. Duterte's son, Baste, also urges the crowd to change the country. Nagbutang na tag presidente that we really trust. Ito na ang gamito na tong kuwan. Nakapaglagay tayo ng presidente na alam natin yan ang kailangan natin para sa bansa natin. Magpasalamat lang ko sa tanan akong natuyok diri sa Pilipinas. Ito mga nang... Nito o, nito o sa kuwang aman. Yung mga naniwala sa... Yung naniwala talaga sa tatay ko. Kamu pun yang nanti hak karangan itu osa ya. Kini dugaan nata ngagapangan ngagapangan doy. Dugaan nana nanti ni nak anap yang bangsa na pinapa nagi nip nate. Duterte won a landslide victory on a strong anti-crime and drugs campaign. He will assume his post June 30. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry arrives in China for the two-day strategic and economic dialogue. Maritime disputes could overshadow the talks after the South China Morning Post reported China could establish an air defense identification zone over the South China Sea. Kerry says this will be, in his words, a provocative and destabilizing act. China says it owns nearly all of the sea despite competing claims by several neighbors, and it has also built artificial islands suitable for military use. The world says goodbye to the greatest. The public memorial for legendary boxer Muhammad Ali is set on June 10, where former U.S. President Bill Clinton is expected to offer his eulogies. Ali died Friday, June 3rd, after a long battle with Parkinson's disease. He was 74. President Barack Obama hails Ali for his integrity, saying, quote, His victory helped us get used to the America we recognize today. Mike Tyson calls Ali the best in the world, saying, quote, God came for his champion, so long, great one. Fans also pay their respects and flock to Ali's childhood home in Louisville. Experts say Ali's Parkinson's disease was a result of his years as a boxer. He was diagnosed in 1984, three years after he retired with 61 professional bouts under his belt. Born Cassius Marcellus Clay, Ali rose to international fame in 1960 and moved his fans in a career spanning three decades. He transcended sports, was also known as a civil rights activist. That's your Midday Wrap. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again at 6 p.m. for the day's top news.